In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily make an explosion effect for LEGO Stop Motion in DaVinci Resolve. Hey guys, welcome back to Learning Curve Tech, where I went tech with you. And on this channel, I make stop motion tutorials for beginners on a budget, as well as other creative tech tutorials. So if you are looking for those kind of videos, you can subscribe and hit the bell down below so you don't miss out on any further videos. To start with this tutorial, you will need DaVinci Resolve, which is a free editing software. I used DaVinci Resolve 16, but you can use any other version of DaVinci Resolve and it should work just fine. First, you'll need to have a clip similar to this clip. It really just needs to have a very bright area where the explosion will be. You can achieve this bright area either just by having a plain light coming through or you can also animate a light. For example, in this clip the light was coming from the shop so I added a flashlight light during the explosion to make the shot more realistic. So in this clip you can see that the thief fires a flamethrower at the door. If you want to watch the whole video I'll link this up above. Anyways, the force of the flame throws the thief backwards. So I guess you could call this a flame flash or something like that, but I just call it an explosion. You can also see in the raw clip how I animated the light, like I said earlier, to make the effect more realistic. So step one, you're going to need to input your clip using Control i or Command i on a Mac. Once you have imported your clip, drag it to the timeline. Then find the area in your clip where you want the explosion to be. Once you find the area in your clip you want to cut out, use Ctrl B or Command B on a Mac to cut the clip. Then go to the end of the same clip and cut it again. So now you have the clip isolated by itself. Now the next thing you will want to do is go to the effects library. If you don't see the effects library, it is up on the top left hand corner. Click on that and scroll down to the resolve FX light and then drag the light rays and the glow over to the clip. Before we continue with the tutorial, please hit the like button if you're finding this video helpful so far. That would be fabulous. Now click on the clip and go over to the inspector page if you can't see the inspector. And if it's like that, then you can just click inspector up in the top right and that will bring it up. Then go to open effects. Now go back a little bit and you can see that in this clip, it doesn't look very realistic at all. The light's just not pointing in the right direction. It's not the right color. So the first thing I wanna do is go to light rays. Light rays is at the top and change the color to whatever color you want. I'm gonna change it to orangish red, like kind of a golden color. Uh, that looks pretty good. And then I'll go down, double click on glow and then go down and color that to color that looks good. Kind of a golden color. Now, just mess around with this. You can change it to whatever color you want. You know, I think I like it how it is, so I'll keep it there. Now, the next thing you wanna do is go back to your light rays. Make sure you're on your light rays and change the X and Y position and just mess around with this really until you have it however you want. It kind of does a little 3D kind of swing there so you can kind of position it in whatever position you want it to be in. And I think that looks pretty good. And if you want to be able to tell even better, then go to the length and just make it longer like that. You could do that. Uh, probably about there is the best length for me. Boom, I think that looks pretty good. And you can also go down to the appearance and take the softening all the way off. So you can really just blur it more or make it more sharp. I kind of like the sharp appearance. And then now go down to the glow. You can change whatever you want with the glow. You can, uh, you know, there's lots of things you can do. So just have fun, mess around with it and change all different things to get the best effect for your animation. Anyways, back to the light rays. Now this is the important part because if you look at it right now, it looks really dumb because it's just a solid color the whole time. And there, it's not like an explosion. An explosion is flash. This is not flashing. So to make it flash, at the beginning of the clip, you want to press this little diamond over here that will keyframe and bring that down to zero and keyframing is basically 
like animation. So then go to the part in your clip where you want the flame to start. And I think there's a light, so I see the light coming in. If you see right there, the light starts coming in. So right there, I'm gonna bring the brightness up really quickly because it's an explosion. Um, maybe to about there. And really depends on what explosion you're doing. But for this clip, this seems to look pretty good. Now go to the last frame. I think about there is where it will start to die down because you can see after the light goes away. So we're gonna bring that brightness almost all the way down, maybe a little bit of glow left, and then by there, just all the way down. And now we're gonna go do the same thing with the glow. So go down to the glow, go to the beginning, go to the first frame where the light starts to come in, right about there. And that's where it's gonna be at its brightest, so keyframe that there. And actually, one thing that I do wanna change is I want this to be a little more of a sudden effect. So if you want it to be a little more sudden, you can go back to the first keyframe using these little arrows. And I'm gonna unkeyframe that. And then I'm gonna go to the brightest part and go one or two frames before that. So it's not too sudden, maybe even three frames. I don't know, one or two frames and then bring it down to like really light. Actually, I'm just gonna turn it all the way off and then go down to glow and I'll do the same thing there. Brighten this all the way off. Oh, and this is where it comes in. And that looks pretty good. And then by the end, about there, it should be almost all the way down and then all the way off. So you can really play around a lot with the brightness that's how I do it, and let's go watch that clip through. I think it looks pretty good. You can fine tune yours however you want. For example, in this clip at the very beginning, I edited this a lot more and you know fine tuned it a lot more than the other one. So this one does look a lot better than this one, but that's just because I spent a lot more time working on the effects. So it really comes down to how much you want to work on it. And you can also add, there's tons more effects. Now with the free version of DaVinci Resolve, not all these work, but a lot of them do. So have fun playing around with this. And yeah, you can animate anything. You can, to animate anything, just click the keyframes like I showed you and go around and customize it to whatever you are doing for your explosion. So now you should definitely check out the full animation and you can also check out any other tutorials that you might find helpful. If you want to flatten the learning curve of tech, specifically stop motion and creative tech, subscribe and hit the bell. That's all for now guys and I'll see you next time on Learning Curve Tech.